pulse width modulation control or PWM. A method of controlling the output voltage by varying the width of the gate pulses is called pulse width modulation control. In this gate pulse is generated by comparing triangular waves with a DC signal where this is carrier voltage, this is reference voltage. This is the maximum value of reference voltage is AR and the maximum value of control voltage is AC. So when you compare this, now you will be getting the AR minus AC which is nothing but this area as a signal. This is my gate pulse in the period of half cycle. This pulse with modulation control. So this is again two type that whether uh, this signal is single pulse or multi pulse. Here in this half cycle we have considered three pulses. You can consider a single pulse considering a single reference where you will get a single pulse from here to here. You will get one single pulse. With this method lower order harmonics can be eliminated or reduced by selecting the number of pulses per half cycle. However, increasing the number of pulses would also increase the magnitude of higher order harmonics which could easily be filtered out. If we considered a converter, semi-converter or full converter, the output voltage and the performance parameters of the converters can be determined in two steps as we know. Now considering only one pair of pulse such that first pulse starts at omega t equals to alpha 1 and ends at omega t equals to alpha 1 plus delta 1. Second pulse starts at omega t equals to pi plus alpha 1 and ends at omega t equals to pi plus alpha 1 delta 1. If you considered alpha here, this is alpha 1, then from here to here, this let this be delta 1. This will be our output single pulse. Similarly, the next pulse is going to act after pi plus alpha, alpha 1 to delta 1. So, alpha 1, this is alpha 1 plus delta 1, this is pi. So, pi plus alpha 1, this is pi plus alpha 1, delta 1. Here we consider a single pulse. Now, if you consider more pulses, this be one more pulse is here and one more pulse is here that is three pulses we are considering in a half cycle then you will be getting three pulses in the output the same thing is going to repeat after two pi this is for single pulse and this is for multi pulse when this is present the is also present then the load current will be a continuous one. This is my load current. So we have two types of pulse modulations that is single pulse and multi pulses. Let the pulse M starts at omega t equals to alpha 1 ends at omega t equals to alpha 1 plus delta 1 the width of delta 1 and if we have n number of pulses that is multi pulses. If n equals to 1, one pulse will be there. Then the average output voltage VDC is given by sigma if m equals to 1 to n, 2 by 2 pi, 2 pulses coming per cycle, integral alpha 1, alpha 1 plus delta 1, Vm sin omega t, d omega t. To make it clear that this alpha 1 belongs to m, I am giving this as a alpha m, then this one as alpha m delta m with the duration delta m. Now this will be so alpha m, alpha m and delta m. Then when you solve this you are going to get Vm by pi sigma m 1 to n minus cos omega t with the limits alpha m plus delta m to alpha m that equals to Vm by pi sigma m 1 to n cos alpha m minus cos alpha m plus delta m. This is VDC. If the load current with an average value of IA is continuous and has negligible ripple, the instantaneous input current could be IS of T is given by IDC plus sigma n 1 3 pi odd ones to infinity an cos n omega t plus dn sin n omega t. 
This is generalized Fourier series equation. Since this input current waveform is symmetrical, there will be no even harmonics. And IDC equals to 0. As you know, IDC equals to 0. Now, AM equals to 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi is of t cos n omega t d omega t. Now, we need to solve that sigma m 1 to n 1 by pi integral alpha m alpha m plus delta m i a cos n omega t d omega t minus 1 by pi integral pi plus alpha m pi plus alpha m plus delta m i a cos n omega t d omega t equals to 0 as no even harmonics. Now bn equals to sigma m 1 to n 1 by pi integral alpha m alpha m plus delta m i a sin n omega t d omega t minus 1 by pi integral pi plus alpha m alpha m plus delta m plus pi sin n omega t d omega t. Now when you solve this you will be getting bn equals to 2 i a by n pi sigma m 1 to n cos n alpha m minus cos n of alpha m plus delta m for n equals to 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Now substituting these values in this equation you are going to get is of t equals to sigma n equals to 1, 3, 5 up to infinity to 2 i n sin n omega t plus pi n where pi n equals to tan inverse of a n bar b n is equals to 0 and i n equals to a n square plus b n square square root of divided by root 2 that equals to a n is 0 so b n bar root 2 this is our instantaneous input current this is the average of output voltage.